Hey folks, it's Rose. It is Thursday, February 16th, 2012 at about 3.30 in the afternoon. And uh, it's just starting to sprinkle. The storm system that has been kind of slowly moving across the country. It's finally getting here. I think that we are only forecasted to get rain because the temperature is pretty low. I mean, I'm sorry, the temperatures are too high for uh, snow. And I don't think it's going to get that cold tonight. So that's all I'm going to share of the outside. Uh, I'm going to add on a little bit of what the radar looks like. So here's the radar right after I filmed the clouds and the sprinkles outside. And I am located right about here on the edge of the rain and then the little sleet and snow line and what looks like snow in parts of New York, New Hampshire, and Vermont. Zoom in a little bit. I am actually only getting sprinkles right now. And uh, I have noticed that when I go to IntelliCast, uh, usually the the weather looks a lot worse than it actually is out, um, out there right at the moment. For example, um, I am I'm not sure. Yeah, I am right about right about in here, and there's hardly anything coming down. It's, like I said, just barely sprinkles, and uh, cold air is off to the west, and doesn't. It's moving a little bit in this direction because at the end of the day, it's getting colder. So uh, that's a part of my weather share. This is the visible satellite for the day. Uh, it runs from about 7.45 a.m. to 3.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have it actually st uh, paused at the moment. But I'll start it. And uh, here is Massachusetts and where I am. And uh, I always like looking at this because it's a view of what I can't see from the ground. It's uh, what's happening above the clouds. And um, it's very interesting to catch this, I'm going to stop it. Let's see, where did I stop it? I stopped it there. There, let's back up a little bit. Yeah, I know. It'd be nice if like this whole thing fit on the one screen and I could not have to do this, but five frames. This is all day. So the storm moving in. Um, as it is moving, you can see some frequency lines here, and there are actually more that go off the screen that um, I'm not showing. Now, if I unzoom a little bit, it <laughs> can't unzoom a little bit. I have to unzoom a lot. All right, here we go. Let's see them in here. Happening over Ohio. Pretty obvious. So then we go up into Massachusetts. I'm going to um, zoom in again and step forward. Oh no, it just is long and boring. Just stop playing it. I find this stuff interesting. So you can watch as the storm system moves forward. And then I'll point out, actually I'll point this out here, right there. It's a little digitized, but there are pretty obvious um, chemtrails being overlaid on top of the storm. Interesting, interesting patterns in the clouds in the upper atmosphere coming through Pennsylvania. I wonder what's going on there. These almost look like frequency ripples, also, though they're rather different than most I've seen. This kind of looks like a trail as well, though it could be a shadow. And to the end of the loop. 
So that's uh, my very long weather share, uh, sharing both the precipitation and the um, radar loop. So we're now going backwards in It has been cloudy all day. There, yeah, I just caught another trail. It was right in here. I was playing through. Right there. Dissipates. And there are others. I mean, you really have to kind of watch carefully and keep your eyes open on the whole screen to see all that stuff going on. And more frequency. Waves, I see them here. The spots, they're small. Let's make interesting ones there. So anyway, I better quit now. This is getting too long. Hope you enjoyed.